Good evening and welcome from Whitley Bay as the Warriors are back on home ice after a couple of weeks on the road and they're taking on the Blackburn Hawks for what is the last home league game of the season. Warriors endured a, a fiery encounter up in Dumfries last night and because of that they won't be icing Callum Watson who uh, collected a suspension in ludicrous circumstances but he will be missing Good to see though that Sean Kippen is back after he was uh, also ejected for similarly ludicrous reasons. There's one or two players missing for the Hawks this evening as well. Uh, import Petr Valusiak is the uh, most obvious omission. Jared Dickinson as well, who's a senior player at the back. So uh, they're coming to time side a little bit short as well each have played their part this season in helping the Warriors claim that championship victory. Long pass out of defence by Carl Ross, picked off though, and the Hawks will have it back, this time with uh, Jack Murray, number seven on defence. And the Warriors crash that one home. I think it was uh, Dean Holland, it was certainly his line out there, didn't actually see who got the final touch in, I think it was Dean Holland, and uh, with 91 seconds gone, it's the Warriors who get the breakthrough. Warriors 1, Hawks 0. And then that one comes through for Phil Edgar. Collects on his own blue line and then passes it out wide to Weverell. Good defensive work by the Hawks. Oh, good little poke check just clears it out the zone. But now Greetons carries it in. Flies over the top and then the follow-up shot there. I think it was from Gray Johnson. Now, uh, Hawks back to full strength, so they've done a good job of killing that penalty off. Queenan behind the net, lays it off to Douglas, to Holland. Now, Holland looking to get the uh, centre and pass in. Queenan in the. Oh, and Holland's gone to the back of the net. Scratch my back with a hacksaw. It's Warriors 2, Hawks 0. And the captain has been in a rich vein of form this last month. Was undoubtedly the best player for the Warriors over the Cup final weekend, both up in Murrayfield and here at Whitley two weeks ago. Led the team well last week in Solihull as well as the Warriors wrapped up the title. And uh, was amongst the goals last night. So uh, in a rich vein of form is the captain. And the Neil line will restart for the Hawks. For the Warriors, it will be the Ben Richards line with Adam Finlandson and Thomas Fraser. So, uh, almost seven minutes gone, then Warriors two, Hawks nil. Oh, and they found that it instantly, and Fraser's in here. Pushed aside, though. Fraser got the shot away. Harrison Walker covered his near side. Just allowed the D to recover. It was a very uh, impressive youngster. Fraser scored last night. Couldn't connect on that one, but if he had, I'm sure that would have been... Uh, in the back of a net, it was an almost an open goal for him. But, uh, a lot of promise from the 16-year-old. Very quick skater as well, low centre of gravity. That one's cleared by the Hawks. Royds will chase after it. Carl Ross recovers well, turns around and sends a play back the other way. Caps out well low by the Hawks. Carried back in by Finlandson, looking to get the shot away. Is he? Tried to go near side, Walker saves, and the follow-up from Fraser. Great double stop by Walker, who's uh, waving his stick there for his, uh, to signal, I think, to the bench, but maybe needs a bit more support on the uh, rebounds. But um, great double stop by Walker, who's just kept his side in the, in the game here. Edgar tips that one on, it's full and nicely for Murray. Can he get the shot away? He does. Into a bread basket, there's a rebound there, but Weverell couldn't connect, so Hawks will clear. Smedley has to delay the pass because the Warriors coming back on an onside position. Edgar carries it back in. It was his quick pass that he took in full stride, releasing Murray. Fell nicely to a Scotsman, got his shot away, but hit Walker's logo. Samuel Warnock, who's uh, wearing number 33. He's uh, on this defensive pairing by King. And then out wide, Finlinson now to Harley. Harley goes around his man, looking to get a layoff here to Weverall. Fires. I think it hit the, uh, the face mask of Trapanz there. Back to uh, normality. Ross Murray. He gathers behind the net. 
looking to set the to Carl Ross fires and he's in the back of the net. Shave my face with a rusty razor. It's Warriors 3, Hawks 0. So Warriors having successfully killed that power play that the Hawks had. It was, to be honest, it was a very good two minutes for the Hawks. That's the best passage of play they've had in the game so far. Warriors soaked up that pressure and uh, went up the other end, back to full strength, bang, in the back of a net. Lovely work goal, Carl Ross from the vital poke check by Royds. Solid shift from him, playing it forward to Barnes, who just uh, does a lovely wrap around behind his man. I think it was Kay King, he just uh, turned inside out there, got a shot away there, and uh, in the end, Blackburn recovered, but uh, and a, and a smart stop from Trapan. Played out, oh, Dean Holland almost picking that one off, collects it centre red for Gary Walker. Edgar out wide to Holland, back to Edgar, will leave it for Douglas, and then a good save by Trapans, and then he's scrambling to get back on this one, he's still trying to get up on his feet, Warriors can't capitalise over, got it behind the net, back to a point now with Harry Harley, fires, and a great save by Trapans, who I think the puck might have struck his helmet on the way through, I certainly heard the clank coming through, but he held onto that well, and Trapans is keeping the uh, Hawks in this game. Riddick collects off the boards, just ahead of Johnson, Warriors back to full strength, but uh, they're going to get the quick release here to Barnes, turns, he's breaking the offside trap, he's one-on-one -on -one fires, and it's crept through, it's gone under the legs, and he's beaten Nick Trapanz like a rented mule, and the Warriors make it four goals to nil. Jordan Barnes straight out the penalty box, was uh, just making sure he stayed onside, kept on the right side of the blue line, the puck came straight through to him, straight through the centre of the ice. He got away one-on-one -on -one with the goalie, I thought Trapanz had stopped it, he got down low, Puck bobbles up on it right in front of a Hawks bench. It's full of nice of a Davis. Gets a shot away. Back off the board. Richie Lawson will leave it with less than a minute now to go in the period. He's played off. Davis, he's fired, and the Hawks have got a goal back here. And uh, while well, the Warriors being a little bit lapse at the back there, and um, played themselves into pressure more than anything, but Davis, who's Made a career about, out of scoring goals against the Warriors, has uh, found the back of a net there with a, a great shot from distance. Really wrapped his stick around that one. Centred it to Weverell, he got a found on the shot, couldn't get a clean connection on it. Murray gets it back though in the corner, steals it back again. And then a third time, flicks it nicely for Edgar who fires. Oh, and it, uh, I thought it had gone in for a second, I think it just hit the underside of the bar and back out. The officials were picked away that one off. Warriors continued to play, but then uh, Trapans smothered the next opportunity. But uh, Edgar wins it, gets it back to Harley. But uh, he couldn't keep it in, he's going to have to retreat. There was a bit of a nonchalant look, I think, there, of frustration as he uh, realised he had to check back. Edgar out wide to Harley, fires, and he's in the back of a net. Oh, I've seen that fish before. Harry Harley makes it five goals to one with uh, an absolute rocket of a shot, connects with, connected with it well. I think it maybe just clipped the, uh, the far post and that's what helped to go in, but uh, Trapan's never saw it. And it was in in a flash. And um, I think that's just about uh, made the game safe for the Warriors with 4.26 to go, a four goal lead now. I'm sure we can be a bit more original than that, guys, come on. Uh, through for Roy who scores poor giveaway by the Warriors they were half asleep but uh, great opportunistic strike lovely pass found Roy who uh, one timed it stabbed it home and with uh, just under 11 seconds to go the Hawks get back on the board and that's it then that's the end of the game the Warriors have won this one five goals to two the gloves are coming off equipment's on the eyes everyone's going over to Richie Lawson to celebrate and uh, well, they have got the formalities of the uh, handshakes or rather uh, fist pumps due to the coronavirus. And it's going to be the, the two Longstaff boys who are going to present the cup to Captain Dean Holland. Matty Longstaff to uh, Dean Holland, one ginger to another. And uh, you see local celebrities now, sons of Lobby. 
Dean Holland then with the trophy lifts it to his adoring crowd. And the, uh, the beers have been opened. The Warriors players are going absolutely crazy. Beer flying everywhere, the trophy's up in the air. But a uh, proud moment as a player for anyone on the coaching staff. And indeed as a fan like myself who's uh, been very fortunate to get the cool games for Warriors for the last four and a bit seasons. Well, this is definitely the highlight when it all comes together like this. And the uh, Warriors finally win some silverware.